really like that. I really like that Nico shout out there. Carrie, of course, having a great performance on the last time, but this makes a lot more sense into the comp. Absolutely. Um, the Rakan Zaya, obviously, as a duo, uh, giving it a bit more strength, and it fits very nicely into their comp, right? A perfect ball carrier in power for your, for your. <laughs> as the game comes along. So, you know, we might be in for some surprises, or maybe we'll just see T1's team fight comp come through this time around. I think DRX have a, have a hard factor game, on so. that first mark. Here comes Elam for a little cute gank onto Solka, who is pretty far down the lane. Doesn't look like anything's going to amount to much down there. Becca, though, is going to be ignited. He has to flash away, and Bao, trying to take the trade, will take a bit of extra damage on the back foot. So a nice trade. Pick up down. first mark. Elam maybe looking for a play on ball. Yeah, they're going to go for the Alistair. They want to get that root, but not actually going to amount to much, but they still have the damage. First Blood will go to Caria, I believe, just burning him down with the Ignite. Go ahead. <laughs> Take the Drake. We're not going to do anything about it. We do not care. Uh, Max is not here, so we should get Motion Rift. Uh, oh, no, hey. it's... No. Wow. <laughs> the Curse of by teleporting to that one as uh, Caria goes in. Oh, the ult goes down first, though. Piyoshik able to get it. Will he survive? He's going to have to flash again. That is uh, very thankful that he got that down right before he got charmed. You can see that the mark was on the Raptors, so there. I guess not really sure about what the follow-up is down the lane. As we got another big trade-up in the top side, but Kingan is trying to take out this turret, and looks like he may just be able to. Yeah, he's going to just go for it. He takes the trade, and he just slaps him down. Says, Zeus, get out of my rift. You are nothing compared to me. Like stride Breaker will do. Uh, not the raw team fighting power of a Gore Drinker that we've seen as well. Oh, Solka in a bit of trouble. He has to blow his stopwatch here. Here comes Becca, but the charm comes out and kind of breaks his combo away. So once again, everybody just backs off. But now Big Boy King in this here. He's got a lot of damage, and he'll be looking to take some names and poke some people down. And you want this as DRX as long as you can force more of these ultimates, these big team fight plays from T1. You need to get this dragon, otherwise the game is going to get really, really hard for you. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing about poke comps is that you have to hit your poke. Yeah. If you don't hit your poke, you're you're just doomed. And I don't know what this is from King, and he's going to have to flash away after knocking him back. That's a really nice okay. amount of poke into that back line. Baker actually getting really low. Get fast track on the mid lane. And uh, then found yeah, just make sure that you stay alive. Oh, there's so many limits being tested here, and every time like, are they gonna die? Is someone gonna get taken out? And it Ooh. might happen here. Wow. Yeah, he's dead. And and they have a little bit of pushing power here in the mid lane. This game is a little bit all over the place. Note that Pioche picks up a mark in the enemy jungle as this is happening. Are so. you actually able to deal with this T1 comp? I think that the RX as a whole is still pretty well. Need to be careful. Oh, Caria, he's looking for names. He wants Bao. And Kingan in the front line tries to get it on to Gumiusi, but that is not going to work. He will be taken out, trying to save his AD carry. And just another straight up pick here. There's that hard engage from the Rakan we were talking about in draft, and it's looking really good in this game so far. Karyas just been playing so well this entire game, and this is the problem with DRX's composition. You can't overstep. Um, oh man, he cursed him. Why did he do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, Karyas. What friends. are you doing? I didn't mean <laughs> to go for this one. Karyas got a nice little flank angle down on the bottom side. We'll see if he can convert this one as Becca will spot him. Over the wall he goes. That's a huge paddle star. Carry it now into the back line, but that is a massive Kindred ultimate. It saves so much damage. Can they turn this one around after that? Look at Val's positioning. It is just huge, as now everybody was laughing at him for the beginning of this game, but he is going to pick up a triple kill and maybe pick up Faker. No, that's going to be the ignite from the Zoe, but that all came down to the massive ultimate from Pyoshik. And the Drake was stolen here. By Bao of all people, it wasn't Pioshik diving in. I wonder, is he want to go, try and go big with a, with a uh, lamps or spike steel? Maybe try some funky business. Instead, what we see is that T1, even after the lamps or spike comes down, they funnel so much cooldowns into trying to take down the members of the Rx. That shockwave from Faker was well into the lamps or spike. And I, I don't actually think they can do this. That guy's going to uh, not die, but um, ah, okay, okay, uh, they'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, that was a bit scary. Um, it's, it's still close. Are they fine? Yeah, it's okay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to get the follow-up damage after the lamp despite a little bit much. As 
Soka here, not really sure what he's doing, but he's going to be able to get to the land for spite. Thanks, Mr. Pioshik, once again, for saving his life this time around. So that's really, like, it's good that Soka lives there, but... It's... Yeah, they've got a really nice setup here, as we mentioned before. Just going to push in with the Baron. And it doesn't look like they're going to overstay their welcome, though. They still have a, a minute left on Baron. Maybe they want to attack that bottom side turret. But even just sitting here and doing this, like, uh. <laughs> that's also really good. Zayda's going to lose more than half of his health with one paddle star over the wall. And you can just consistently do this and there's nothing him. And now Mattel happens. That's a nice little angle from King, and he's actually behind them as they're trying to get on top of Bow here once again, just barreling down the mid lane. But the poke is beginning to come out, and T1 kind of getting funneled now into the enemy jungle. No stop there from Zeus, and Gumi Yusi nearly dies from just the Akathian rain and the one shock blast. And DRX are like, okay, let's just go to the Baron now. It should be ours. And Gumi Yushi has a whole lot of crit, but he doesn't have that much survivability, right? He went for the full damage build, meaning that it's going to be a lot harder for him to sustain up, as you often see AD carries do. He needs to back here. Faker also used his teleport early on to try and maintain tempo, and this might be another Baron for the Arax, and with this comp, that's the dream. It absolutely is. But they're playing uh, so well here. Yeah. DRX have impressed here. King is going to get shot. Waved there, as he will have to flash and get out of dodge, but... Nice little engage there onto King, and he will survive. He does have TP as well if he wanted to try to get back in, but it's all about the poke damage at this point in time. Looks like he will back away now. Base is not cracked, though, and that's a really, really key yeah, one. Because on the carry that, yeah. I don't even think that was a paddle star. I think that was a empowered auto. Yeah, it's just the sparkles, you know? Nice. Yeah, and the sparkles, of course. <laughs> uh... Oh, they... They got Baker. I think he's just dead. Yeah, he's just dead. They slap him down on the bottom side. They got the Banshee's Veil earlier on. And that might just be it. As you mentioned, no Orianna means no Shockwave. Gumius is going to take a bunch of damage. And, man, DRX, they are on top of their game tonight. Looking really pretty clean here in this one. And with the Baron, they'll be looking to push this one in. The poke just... But not much they can do against this one now. Karyo will give it one last try. That is a pretty fantastic engage, but the damage is just way too much. On the side of DRX, they are going to shut them down and fully clean up the side of T1 for the victory here in game number one. And I'm not going to look at these guys. DRX with a dominating performance here in game number one. It looked good for T1 up until the mid game where they were able to kind of trade evenly. But then there were a couple of key moments, right? And yes, Faker getting hit by the Sleepy Trouble Ball, it looks bad.